I was playing a game against Celts as Incas, and then my game desynced. So instead of uploading a game that ends in the middle of Castle Age, I'm instead going to upload my hotkeys. So everything is the same, except for cycle, game, and unit commands. Everything beneath that is all standard. These are all the built-in Definitive Edition hotkeys for everything. Except the only one I have different here on unit commands is delete selected unit which is going to be control shift space. Previously I had that on delete which was the standard but it was a bit of a pain because I've got all my hotkeys on the left side of my keyboard and I had to reach over and hit delete to perform that action. So instead we've got uh, three inputs to do this one action of delete unit. Control shift space. I also um, don't have anything else that uses control space or alt space or shift space so I can be sure I never accidentally delete a unit. Uh, by having this hotkey. So we'll walk through the game commands and these are all standard here. These are all the same as they are supposed to be. Uh, the only place we get difference is our select all hotkeys. So we'll walk through each of these. Select all archery ranges, archery ranges control shift A, that is default. Con control shift D for select all barracks. Barracks? <laughs> I guess that's the plural. Is control shift D. By default it is control shift B, as in Bravo. But I did not like reaching so far over with my fingers. I, I don't have a big hands. <laughs> so it was a bit uncomfortable to hit Control shift b You could maybe hit Control land shift with one finger, but uh, I've made it so that all of my hotkeys for select all, they're all um, to the left of R, F, and V on a QWERTY keyboard. So uh, <clears throat> I also had barracks as Control x for a while because, you know, bear X, bear X, it made sense. But it was a little hard to control shift X as well. I would sometimes, you know, hit alt or another key instead of doing the one I want. This is a relatively new change, so I'm still getting used to it. You'll see sometimes I fumble trying to select my barracks now. Control shift S for all blacksmiths, that's standard. Shift C for castles, that's standard. Control shift tab for docks. Now, because docks aren't uh, used as often as these other hotkeys, I've moved them off to the side. By default it's Control shift d for select all docks, but I think Control shift tab just so it's a little out of the way, is a little more fitting for me. And then I have Barracks there on, under D. Select all dungeon, I don't have Sicilian, so I can probably just clear this, but I'll leave it for now, Control shift n in case I ever need to do it. Actually, let's make that like Control shift b There we go. Now we have something on B. Uh, select all idle uh, military units, that is Control alt extra button 1. Now if you're not sure what that is, extra button 1 is, uh, there's two buttons on the side of my mouse, the left side of it, and the one closer to me, that's extra button 1. So I'll hold Control alt and extra button 1 to select all idle military. Um, this one I've not configured because I don't have the select idle trade cards as something I use. You can just do select idle villager and it'll go to it. Select all idle villagers is control extra button 2, so the button that's farther away from me on my mouse. Uh, and by default for just select idle villager 1, it's just going to be extra button 2 without the control. Select all correct posts, same sort of story as the... Um, actually, you can play as Bulgarians without having purchased any DLC. So uh, that one's a little bit closer and easier to hit because there is a chance I'll end up, you know, mutual randoming into Kreposts, or Bulgarians, that is. Um, I don't like this hotkey. I think I might even just clear it. <clears throat> select all naval and land military units. I'd rather not be able to select all of them. Um, I can see some situations, maybe if you've patrolled some and you don't know where they are on the map, but I just don't use that hotkey. <clears throat> select all lumber camps, control shift Z. I think lumber camp was like control L or something by default, which is so far away from where my left hand rests. So I've moved it all the way to the other side of the keyboard on Z. Select all markets, control shift V. Select all military buildings. I find this to be a useless hotkey as well. I mean, if you've got hotkeys for everything else, you might as well use those. And I feel like if you select all buildings, all military buildings, you don't get the UI you want, so you can't hit the hotkeys you want right away. It actually leads to more clicks. Select all mills, control shift F. Um, that one's not super important, so I keep it kind of farther away. Uh, so lumber camps, and mills, and mining camps are Z, X, and F are the ones, because uh, they're kind of not used as much. They're a little bit harder for me to hit. Monasteries, control shift E for monastery E keeps it easy. Of course the issue is with the universities, that's control shift R, you wouldn't think universiter, 
Universitar. <laughs> it's also university, so sometimes you'll see me fumble between university and monastery. But I like those also uh, at the top of the keyboard since I don't use them a ton. Uh, select all mule carts. That's just the lumber camp one because um, they sort of count. There's no conflict between them. I don't have Armenians or Georgians, so I don't care about that either. Control Shift W, that's default workshop. Control Shift Q, stable was kind of far away, if I recall, by default. It was on the right side of the keyboard and wasn't so intuitive. I think it was like T, Control Shift T, or something like that. So I've moved it over to the left side, be a little more accessible. Select all town centers. I like having select town center on the side of my mouse. My thumb's not doing anything anyway, right? And just hitting that one button to get me to town centers. Uh, just next town center is just extra button one. So I like having that to be super handy on extra button one. Uh, this is whatever universities. And then this one's a brand new one I've configured. Select all visible land, naval, military units. So any unit on screen, you'll select it with control, alt, extra button two. So control, alt, extra button one, select all idle military. Control, alt, extra button two, select all military on screen. I'm still going to get used to using that because it's something I just barely configure. And then everything else here is normal. Unselect is Alt-A. I think that may not be default, but I don't ever use that really. You just click somewhere else typically. <laughs> not worth wasting your time unselecting something if you're just going to select something else. And then these are all the same as well. Archery range, instead of having Control-Shift-A, it's just Control-A. These should all correspond between each other. Uh, go to last notification. I like a space. That's what it is in Command and Conquer Generals, and it's what I'm used to. Um, I don't use this. I should maybe learn what this last notification... Oh, it's just the same thing, but it's just another button. So it takes you to the same place. Last notification's useful, especially for like grabbing yell relics, or if uh, you get an alert sound that somebody's attacking you. Uh, so I like using that hotkey. This is whatever. I don't use these. I use the button two. So next idle military unit. Uh, is just alt extra button one and then select all is control alt extra button one so that's easy to remember as well and then next idle villager extra button two just like we have control extra button two for select all of them uh, go to selected object I don't really use this ever because uh, you can just uh, if it's a hotkey or a group you just hit the group a second time it'll take you to the selected object so I don't really use that and then yeah extra button one for town center so those are all the same now let's look at my other uh, settings. So we do have uh, global queue items. We have one row active. This was a game changer when I started using it. Super useful. If you do not have that turned on, I highly recommend using it. It makes everything so much easier. Um, I can probably turn off extended tooltips. I don't really read them. And if there's something I don't know, typically I'll go look on AOE2 tech tree. I think it's .net is the site. So this can probably be turned off. Uh, you don't necessarily need this. So I can probably turn it off actually. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Now graphics, here's what my graphic settings look like. I don't care for any of these things really. Blood is the one thing that I like having the immersion of. Everything else I don't care much for. I, 3D water, beach waves, it just sort of gets in the way. Uh, audio settings, just lower volume. And then game settings, uh, this is a setting that's important. Select only idle villagers. It's good and it's bad, this setting, right? So if you have select all villagers when you double click, sometimes you'll select all villagers doing everything, right? At your lumber camps, wood lines, gold mines, stone mines, farming, everything. And then if you task them somewhere, you click somewhere, you double click and you click really quickly, right click that is, then you could just stop your entire economy. You could kill the entire economy, nobody's doing anything anymore, and it's a pain to reassign everybody back to where they should be. If you've watched my older videos, you've probably seen that before. Okay, let's also take a look at my mods. I only use three. Uh, the no intro, so you just boot up the game and you go straight to the main menu. Pretty nice quality of life mod. Useless plant remover. Uh, I don't care much for those plants on the screen. Those can go. So this is a great mod. Those things just get in the way. And then of all the tree mods, this one's my favorite. Identical Pine Trees with Grid Shadow. It's uh, by Annie HK, um, who does a lot of great mods. So those are the three mods I use. Um, <laughs> the one mod I wish existed would be a mod that made Karambit Warriors look like Zerglings. That would be amazing if there were such a mod. 
and I would use it. The other one I've kind of considered is the Boxing Glove Villagers. That's a really fun mod too, but those are all my um, hotkeys, settings, mods. Hopefully it's useful to you. Maybe you can take some ideas with it. I think the biggest one for me is Control Shift Space is a fantastic key as my delete selected unit key. That's a great one. So if you ever, you know, not sure what to do for your del delete units, use that one. And then I still use Shift Delete because if I'm going to delete multiple units, I want to be sure about it. So that one's a little more inaccessible. Anyway, thank you for watching.